and I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe on, on the, the go. go. So, Jen, what are we doing this time? Joe, I'm going to cook dinner for you tonight. What? I know. I know you'll find that hard to believe because cooking is the last thing in the world I want to do every night, but I am going to cook you dinner tonight. Has hell frozen over? It might have. No, that's not true. You cook. Not every night, but you cook. Cooking is not something I enjoy doing. Oh, yeah. I'd rather just do DoorDash. Yeah, I know. But you've actually had, um, you did that chicken last night, the um, the chicken with the, what you call it on it, which was really very, very what good. What did I make last night? The, um, the maple. Oh, the marinade. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's uh, right. I cooked last night, too. Yeah. So it was wow. really good. Two nights in a row. I know. I, I know. It's odd. What the heck? So do you want to know what I'm making for you? Yes, I do. I'm going to make broccoli cheese chicken. That's actually really yummy. So the only ingredients you need are a couple chicken breasts, depending on how many people are in your family. There's only three of us eating dinner at home tonight, so we need two. A couple pats of butter, some Velveeta cheese, a bag of frozen broccoli cuts, and I think that's it. So broccoli, cheese, and I see rice back there. Oh, and there's rice because you spoon it over rice, but we just do Minute Maid rice because you can put it in the microwave. Well, that's fine. So why what's, wouldn't you use it? Why? What's wrong with min-made rice? You make it sound like you're like... Because some people like to do it on the stove and that's just too much work. Oh. Well, I don't know. Whatever's easier. Hey, look, I'm just grateful you're cooking. That's, I mean, it's good enough for me. Whatever. It's only because I had a taste for it. It's okay. Yeah. So now so, you get to benefit. <laughs> mm, that's fine. No, honestly, I mean, I, I'm i not a picky person. I no, really, that's true. Uh, there are only certain things that I don't like, like peas. peas. I don't want peas, but you seem to be making peas a lot lately for Ashley. I actually like some. I know, so that's fine. Um, uh oh, here's Jack. I'm not big on beets. Hi, Jack. Ew, <laughs> please don't. Who likes beets? Please don't knock over my tripod, and Jack. And lima beans? No, lima beans, I don't Blech. mind. You're not big into beans, though. I like beans. I like baked beans, like old baked, like Bush's baked beans. Oh. Like that made me vomit in my mouth. No, no, no. Like if you put Bush's baked beans in a pot and cut up a couple of hot dogs and put that in there oh, with the baked oh. beans, you have Franks and beans. Franks and beans. Right, Franks and beans. I like Franks and beans. <laughs> okay, well, you ready to follow me as I make you dinner? Sure, why not? All right. Hmm. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our rice going because it's going to stay covered after it's done so it'll still be hot. And that way I don't have to worry about forgetting it because that's something I would totally do. So you need to make six servings because we are a big rice family. You need three cups of minute may, uh, minute rice and three cups of water. So let's do that now. So Jen, what's the first part that you're doing? Okay, the first thing I'm doing is I'm making the minute rice. So I just added three cups of water and three cups of rice with a little bit of butter. Okay. So that um, I can get that going or I'd probably forget that I needed to do it. You'd forget the rice? I probably would. Yeah, but there's like four ingredients. It's just where my mind is. <laughs> so this needs to be nuked for about eight minutes. Covered well, or uncovered? Uncovered. Uncovered. So let's put this in. Because it's going to stay warm. It's just rice. And this is a pretty fast meal to make. Okay. Okay. So then next, for the broccoli cheese chicken, the first thing you want to do is you got to brown your chicken and you have to cut it up into pieces. And most of you would probably do this on a cutting board with a knife, but I do it with scissors because I find that it goes faster and I'm not really one that likes to touch raw meat. I think it's disgusting. So we're gonna turn our skillet on so we can melt the butter. And we're gonna cut up our chicken breasts. Ew, like touching this is so disgusting. So Ugh. this is always the part that cracks me up when you do it this way. You just cut it into bite-sized pieces. Yeah, but it just seems so awkward and you're so dainty as you're trying not to touch the raw chicken. <laughs> well, it's gross. I don't like touching raw meat. Hey, at least you're getting dinner tonight. So why aren't you um, like raising chickens and going out back to get a chicken and then break the chicken's neck and then cut the chicken's head off and then pluck the chicken and then cut up the chicken 
and debone the chicken because and degut the chicken ew. and then you have fresh chicken meat. Um, because if I was made to do that, God should have had me made during the little house on the prairie days. So you're not a frontiers woman? Uh, no. I would fail miserably and like if a blizzard came, we'd be the household that starved. Because I don't can beets, I don't can fruits, don't raise chickens, we don't have any eggs. So yeah, we'd, we'd probably starve. Well, the pond would be frozen so we couldn't catch any fish. Well, we've discussed this before when we've talked about The Ugh. Walking Dead and how we would be the that's first true. to go. That's true, we would. Because, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have no survivor skills no. whatsoever. And we don't, I don't hunt, so I can't kill possum or squirrel Ew. to eat that. Would you eat possum? And no, probably not. Okay. So, and I could farm, I could like, like plant some seeds and raise some crops or not raise, but grow some crops. But by the time they all like grew and we were able to eat them, we'd be dead from starvation. That's so probably true, Joe. Doesn't matter. That's true. So, all right, so you're cutting up the chicken. Yes, so I can brown chicken, it. You got the chicken in there and the butter is melting. And yes, and you want it to get nicely browned. So it's just about cooked when you add the broccoli and the cheese, because basically you're just heating the frozen broccoli up and melting the cheese. So you want your chicken breast to be cooked. And like I said, this is a pretty fast meal. It probably only takes about 20 minutes or so. Ugh. Probably would have taken less if you cut the chicken like a normal person. Joseph, that's disgusting. You know, I would cut the chicken for you. I've offered to do that before. That's just too much work. No, it's not. You would be less work for you. No, because you would make a mess and then I would have to clean it up. Uh, no. Okay. Well, maybe. Watch it sizzle, see it fizzle. There is a chicken in the pan, it's frying up. So what you doing now, Jen? So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, just to give it a little flavor. The butter okay. looks like it's starting to bubble up. And I don't like to um, move the chicken around at first because I want it to get browned on the bottom and if you move it, it doesn't brown. So you let it just sit as the butter is melting? Yes. So as you did this, you just put the butter in and let, and then put the chicken in and let it all melt while the chicken is in there versus melting yes. the butter and then putting the chicken in. Yes, yes. Oh yeah. There you go, got a nice light brown. So now you're just gonna cook the chicken through until you don't see any more pink. And then when you don't see any more pink, you can add in the broccoli and the cheese. And the nice thing about this recipe is that you really don't have to measure. You're gonna cook as many chicken breasts as you feel would feed your family. Like I said, there's only three of us having dinner here tonight, so two is more than fine. And then I just always add, no matter how many people, um, it's usually you just need um, a 16 ounce bag of your frozen broccoli cuts. And then this, the Velveeta, this is 16 ounces as well. I'll probably use half of this. That's the okay. sign of a real chef is... Pain. <laughs> pain, yeah. Grease burn marks on your skin. There you go. Butter, butter scars. I mean, I don't mind cooking. I just really hate the cleaning up afterwards. And anything that I can make in one or two pans is great. Because those people that have 75 different dishes to clean after every meal, that's just not for me. Especially for someone who doesn't like to cook. Okay, so the rice is done. It's steaming. So we're just gonna put it to the side and cover it. I'll fluff it up first. Then that's just gonna stay to the side. Cause you're gonna spoon the chicken, broccoli and cheese on top of the rice, it's so good. Okay, so I um, just took some of the chicken out because Ashley doesn't eat broccoli and cheese. She doesn't like melted cheese. So I put some chicken off to the side for her so she can have just chicken and rice. Um, but you're going to want to um, turn down your heat at this point, and we're going to add our broccoli. So were you grilling everything up um, 
on full heat before? Probably about an eight on the gas stove. Okay, eight out of seven. Seven, eight. Now we're adding in our broccoli. Yum. So let's give that a little stir. Is that broccoli frozen? Yes. So we're gonna turn that up just a little bit now. Where are you now, at about four or five? Yes. So that just really has to just heat up until the cheese gets melty. So normally you would use a full block of this, but I found that it's just way too much and it gets just way too rich. So I've cut it and we only use about a half a block of the fake cheese. The government cheese, the Velveeta. I think this is even worse than government cheese, if I'm being completely honest. And then I just make it and cut it into little cubes. I mean, technically, because then this, it's easier to melt. Is this really cheese? I mean, is this classified as um, cheese? It's probably not. And if you make, if you cut the cheese into cubes, it melts faster. <laughs> you said cut the cheese. <laughs> That'll be after dinner. Jennifer. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Ladies don't do that. Oh, okay. Joe does. Yeah, okay. So then really you just want to stir it to melt the cheese and heat up the broccoli and then you pour it over rice. So I will show you guys the finished product and then we'll do a little taste test to see if it turned out good. And then if no one gets food poisoning overnight, that'll be even better. <laughs> even better. <laughs> Anytime no one has to be rushed to the hospital after eating Jen's cooking, that's a good thing, right? That's, that's true, Joe. Mm. That's true. It's getting melty. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Mm when it's complete. And I know, it doesn't all, that look good? That's all melty, look at that. And you could actually spice it up with a couple of different things, really, if you'd like. You could. Like cayenne pepper to make it spicier. Uh, yep, or red, or, paper, red pepper flakes. Um, Tony Cattery's. Sure. If you want to give it kind of a little bit of a Creole kick. Um, you just did salt and pepper, but that actually really does look good. I know, really. Let's plate it up. So you just spoon out some rice. I'm gonna plate it and make it all pretty. More rice, Joey? Sure. Okay, and then you spoon that cheesy broccoli chicken goodness mixture all over the rice. Oh, look at that. Okay, Joe. There you go. Wow. I know. Doesn't that look delicious? That looks scrumdilly-umptious. Um, dear? Yes? Am I supposed to use my fingers to eat this? I know. There's a fork sitting right here for you, Joseph. Oh, there's the fork. I have to get some for me. <laughs> Don't eat my food when you have your own, <sighs> Joseph. <laughs> okay, Joe. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Got a little broccoli in here. So what do you think? Thumbs mm -hmm. up? Mm-hmm. I know we usually don't do one to 10, but if we did one to 10, what would you give it? A thumbs up. Okay, that really wasn't what I was looking well, for. Well, what do you want me to do? I mean, it's fine. It's a simple meal. It's yummy. I don't know. All right, well, the good thing is that I like, I like it. it. Yeah, I definitely like and it. And literally, I made that in 15 minutes. Pretty much. Well, 15 to 20. You had the rice. Mm -hmm. You said it was eight minutes. Right. And it was not even 10 minutes after the rice was done and right. all this was done. So, yeah. I'd say, yeah, less than 20 minutes between 15 and 20. Cool. Oh, man. So what did you think of my broccoli cheese chicken? Yummy. That's good eating. That's, it is. It's a good uh, comfort food on a cold day. That's the food that sticks to your insides. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, don't do that. Oh, my God. Oh. 
No, it was really good. Thank you very much. Aww, I appreciate I'm glad you it. Liked it. Yeah, I really. Uh, it's simple. It's quick. It's easy. It's basically it's chicken, broccoli, and Velveeta, and you just eat, you put it in a skillet and fry it up. But it's still a lot of work. Well, if you want a quick dinner that literally takes about 15 minutes and it's only a few ingredients, that's a great meal for you. And, you know, you could do a bit of a variety with it, with adding the different seasonings, you could, you, you could, know? You could also add, like I said, cauliflower instead of broccoli or add cauliflower with the broccoli. Yeah. I don't see why not. You know, and then of course, obviously other people will do like teriyaki or That's soy true. sauce or whatever, but this you would do I don't do think with the teriyaki Velveeta. and Velveeta cheese would be. No, 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 without the Velveeta. Like if you were to do stir fry. Oh. Yeah, but this we're doing with the Velveeta, which you've done stir fry before too. So a good variety of different things you could do and just keep it simple. Yeah. Well, like don't it. forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of Jen and Joe in the kitchen. Or, um, Lucky we didn't burn the house down. Yeah, I mean, there's always that fear. Every time you get in front of that stove. <laughs> no, kidding. Although we've had some good cooking videos. We over have. The, over the past year. I mean. And speaking of that, we still have that other cooking video that we never put up. Yeah, I know. The Bake of the Stromboli. Yes. Yeah, we like recorded that literally two months ago. But and just an FYI, I was in a really bad mood when we did it. So that may reflect in the video. And when we do put that up, we may put up a warning. <laughs> warning. Jen, Jen was in a bad mood. <laughs> the evil Jen is in this video. Yeah. So you get you know, nice happy Jen. You get Disney Jen. You get drunk Jen. That's and true. And now you get angry cooking Jen. That's true. The, the many facets of Jen. Yeah, the many faces of Eve or many faces of Jen. Yikes. Anyway, all right. So I guess that's it. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a good evening. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.